everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. And overcast skies on tap for tonight's game between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Florida Gators. We're here to bring you a great SEC rivalry that dates back to 1915. It's time for the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. And here come the Gators. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Florida knows all too well about playmakers as they have one of their own at the running back position. This guy's got way too much talent to be contained. Lee, I think he'll lead them to a close victory. I hate to say it, but you're wrong. I gotta go with Georgia. See how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 16 fields it in the end zone. Not a bad return. No, not bad at all. That's great field position. And any coach will tell you, good field position throughout the course of the game is very important. They'll start this drive at the 38-yard line. The Bulldogs line up in the power eye formation. They'll throw on first down. Throws down the middle. It's tipped. Almost intercepted. But it will go down as a simple incompletion. Brad, nothing simple about that athletic move by the defender. He knocked the ball away. Second and ten. Ball on their own 38. The Bulldogs come out in the ace formation. Play action. Over the middle. And he's taken down. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond down the field. It's third down and four to go. Ball on their own 44. Georgia lines up with three receivers. Looks down the middle. Got it. And he's tackled. First and ten. Ball on the 41. Georgia comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. He steps up looking. He keeps it. Has some daylight. Tackle. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Bulldogs come out in a shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. His receiver has it. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. About 12 yards out. Number three with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Down the middle. Almost intercepted. What a huge drop that was. That's an interception you've got to make, young man. No excuses. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. The Bulldogs line up in an eye formation. They'll run the option. There he goes. Touchdown, Georgia. 
What a nifty, nifty run by the field general, guys. It sure was. He's got a lot of talent in those legs. Tacks on the extra point with less than four minutes to go in the first to score. Georgia, seven. Florida, nothing. Georgia to kick, number five, and number 18 set to return. We should have a return on this one. Number five fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. This quarterback is the leader of this team, but he's going to need some help from his offensive line today as they go up against a very good pass rush. You got that right, Brad. He's the focal point of this offense, and the defensive line knows it. They're going to be coming after him hard today. When you're as good as this kid is at playing quarterback, there's definitely a bullseye painted on your chest. We'll see how he handles the pressure. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on their own 15. They come out with three wide receivers. He drops back with the throw. And it's caught. Brought down. Nothing gained on the play. No gain on the play. Third down, 13. Ball on the 15. Number 12 is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. The Gators are lining up to punt it away. Number 10 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 29 fields it at the 38. At the 40. Inside the 30. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Georgia. That's what his ability can do. Well, here you see a combination of things. His athletic ability, his ability to amplify, and his speed accelerating by the defense. Keep this in mind, guys. He is capable of doing this every time he touches the ball. And under three minutes to go in the first quarter. The score, Georgia 14, Florida nothing. Georgia to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number five fields it in the end zone. He spins. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Man, maybe Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. Back to 
the path. He steps up, wants to throw outside. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. They'll throw on first down. It's dropped. Drop pass. That'll drive the coach crazy. That'll drive the quarterback crazy. And that'll drive the fans crazy. Well, I'm sure he'll get an earful when he gets to the sideline. You bet he will. The Gators come out in a shotgun. Let's it fly. It falls incomplete. Dropped by the wideout. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 46. The Gators line up with three wide. He drops back, steps up, looks, across the middle, and it's going the other way. What an interception by the cornerback. I love it. A defensive back with soft hands. This kid can play. They'll go to work at the 40. Ball on the 40-yard line. Ace backfield. A little handoff. They'll bring him down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 41. The Bulldogs line up with two tight ends. They make the stop. A good six yards there by the fullback. Gain of six on the play. Third down and three coming up. Ball in their own 47. The Bulldog line up in a goal line formation. Over the middle. Way to look it in. It's first and 10, ball on the 39-yard line. Georgia lines up with three receivers. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. It's ruled out. Well, he almost had it, but tight ends usually aren't the most graceful players on the field. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 39. And they better keep an eye on that tight end. Drop back to pass. Short toss. And he's got the freshman. Bounces off the would-be tackler. And down he goes. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Bulldogs come out showing three wide. Back to pass. Throws to the middle, and it's incomplete. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. The intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Three wideouts here. 
He drops back. Down the middle. Swatted away. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. They come out with three wide receivers. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Throws. He came down with it. Touchdown. Depending on what team you're rooting for here, you're either really excited or you're ready to hit the reset button. Well, I hope these guys aren't ready to throw in the towel just yet. We've got over three quarters of football yet to play. They need to come up with some big plays on both sides of the ball. Maybe a big kick return here, and that'll get them going and get them back into this game. on the extra point. Time to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. And remember the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Number five fields it in the end zone. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing the pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? I mean, as you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know better than that. <laughs> Number 12 is back in the gun. There's the play fake. Fires deep down the left side. Got it. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Goodbye. Do they have that defense guessing now or what? I mean, did you see how well the quarterback hit the ball? Yeah, some quarterbacks are just so good at selling the play action. It's truly an overlooked skill. You take my friend Kirk here, for example. He wasn't known for his speed, but boy, he could do a good play fake. Are you calling me slow? This is coming from a guy whose nickname is based on his foot speed. Isn't that right, Scooter? Yeah, left out sunshine. It's sunshine, Scooter, sweetheart. PAT. The down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. Georgia 21, Florida 7. is lined up to kick this one off. Number 16, back eight to return. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Georgia comes out in the shotgun. tackled and the quarterback picks up about three on the draw it's second down and seven to go ball in the 23 the bulldog set up in the gun back to pass great coverage and it's intercepted Brought down. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game.
after a quarter of play. Our score is Georgia 21, Florida 7. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. He tries to spin. And they make the stop. Gain of two. With the carry. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 19 yard line. And the secondary better be careful. This receiver wants to make a play. He's going right. Found his man. And down he goes. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Floats it to the end zone. Touchdown, Florida! Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Tacks on the extra point. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Georgia 21, Florida 14. To kick. Kicks it off. And we've got a penalty on this one as it goes out of bounds. Here's the call from the referee. Delivery procedure on the kicking team. The ball will be spotted at the 35 His errant kick has First given down. the offense a great starting point to begin their drive. Absolutely. The defense will have to come out with major intensity to make up for that blunder. They'll get the ball here at the 35-yard line. The Bulldogs line up in an I formation. Setting up the play action. He's going left. To the middle, it's his tight end. Way to look it in. Nice kick. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 41. Georgia comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. He drops back. Let's it go. Complete. Two-yard loss. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 43. I wouldn't try anything tricky on defense. This quarterback's looking to make a play. Back to pass. He's looking. Comes across the middle. Tackle. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. Yeah. 
Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. Takes a pitch. He lateral. Here he goes. Brought down. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Boy, I tell you, this is impressive to see this offense when they're clicking. The Bulldogs come out showing three wide. Defense looking for his first incomplete in this drive. And they get the sack. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did it. It was like a jailbreak up front. And the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. Second down, goal to go. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Georgia lines up with a shotgun set. They go with the option. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. That brings up third and goal. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Bulldogs line up with three wide. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. He's got an open. Ball is loose. Fumble. And I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. And so they lose possession on the fumble. I'm sure that quarterback will have an excuse for that last fumble. Ha! Huh, an excuse, huh? Well, guess what? There's an old saying that says excuses are like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, coach. I know how the saying goes, but we're live on the air here. Yep, yeah, you're right. But if he were my quarterback and came to me with an excuse, he would have heard the old saying. They'll start this drive at the 16. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Throw. And it's caught. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Nothing going on that one. No gain on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 16. Number 12 is back in the gun. On the ground, up the middle. He juice. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo! The defense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. It's third down at 14 to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. Georgia calls a timeout. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 10, punts it, and it's a good one. Number 29, fields it to 42. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. First and 10, ball on the 45. Number three, with three wide receivers. Throw on first down. And they got it. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure.
second down, and they got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 40. They come out with three wide receivers. Lobs this one over the middle. And it falls incomplete. He put too much on that throw. That's his big tight end, and he's definitely not a track star. I think the quarterback just overestimated his speed. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Georgia comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Drops back to pass. He steps up. Look. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Florida takes a timeout. Send out the punting unit. Number 95 gets it off. Number 16 fields it for 30. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 31. The Gators come out in a bunch formation. He drops back, steps up, he's in trouble. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Second and long, ball on the 24-yard line. Florida comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Throws this one out to the left. Got it. And he's brought down. Florida calls a timeout. First and ten, ball on the 45. First and ten, ball on the 45-yard line. Number 12 is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Going deep on the left side. Number 81 brings it in. Touchdown. And he makes his second visit to the end zone with that catch. Oh, that was a great catch by the receiver. He ran a perfect route to get open for his second score of the game. PAT. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac Drive Summary. is lined up to kick this one off. Kicks it deep. Number 20 fields it in the end zone. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll go to work at the 20. Yeah. 
They line up in an eye. Nice play fake. He lobs it right side, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Taking back a yard. One yard loss on the play. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on their own 19. The Bulldogs go with the eye formation. That'll do it for the first half here. We're tied as the players head to the locker room. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Here's the kick. Number 18 takes it at the four. At the 30. Good, solid return that time. You're right. And what allowed him to come up with a nice return was some key blocks up front. Yep, and a few more of those key blocks in it would have been really good. From the gun. job by the defense to read the draw play. Yep, the quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through, but they were having none of that. Second down and 14. Ball on their own 37. With the shotgun here, drops back to pass, looks, wants to throw outside, finds a man, and he's finally shoved out at the 37 yard line. Now, that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver, he's not afraid to throw it downfield. It's first and 10, ball on the 37. Number 12, lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass, looking, throws. And it's picked off. He's into the open field. At the 40, inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown! That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there, and the quarterback needs to make better decisions. on the extra point. Over four minutes remaining here in the third quarter. And the score, Georgia 28, Florida 21. Georgia is ready to kick it away. Number five, back to Kicks it off. Number five takes it at the four. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out on the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move it. But they cannot turn it over again in the same situation. That, my friends, would be a heartbreak. They'll get the ball here at the 24. They 
come out in a five wide set. They'll throw on first down. He unloads it with the interception. Not sure what the quarterback was looking at on that one. Yeah, it cost him. He just threw his third pick of the game. Fellas, you got to give credit to this defense. They're taking advantage of each and every mistake this quarterback is making. Set up shot at the 47. First and ten. Georgia comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Handoff up the middle, makes a move, broke away from one. And he's tackled. Seven yards there. Second and three. Ball on the 46-yard line. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. He steps up. Ball's loose. And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. So the defense comes away with a big, big turnover. Ouch. The quarterback is really going to hear it from his coach now. He should not have fumbled that football. Those bother me more than interceptions because at least on an interception, you're trying to give your receiver a chance to go after the football. There's no reason to fumble the football as a quarterback. Your job is to move the chains. That one really hurt. Florida comes out in the shotgun. And now the ball is loose. And I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. And the defense got on it quickly. That was a heck of a play by the big guy. Sure was, Kirk. It's not too often those big linemen get their hands on a football. Boy, is he excited. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. They'll line up in the power eye. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Little shake and bake move. Brought down. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. Second and four. Ball on the 36. They come out with three wide receivers. Tackle. Maybe a few, but that's it. Gain of two on the play. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 34. Georgia comes out with an eye formation. They go with the option. He can scoot. And he's taken down. Nice running on the option there. That was a spectacular option keeper there. And I'm going to tell you why. It looked like that play was going nowhere, but this quarterback made the right choice by holding on to the football. You're right. Good heads-up play there by the QB. First and 10. Ball on the 24. The Bulldogs line up with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Over the middle. Touchdown, Georgia. The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brad is a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game.
the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Georgia lines up for the kickoff. Number five, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 18, fields it in the end zone. He broke his ankle. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. Take over at the 17 yard line. At the 17 yard line. First and 10. They line up in the shotgun. He throws it. Incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. Number 21, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. The Gators set up in the gun. He drops back. Steps up. He tosses it short. Here's an opening. Complete. He's knocked out of bounds. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open things up for the big play. It's third down and four to go. Ball in the 23. Number 12 is back in the gun. Drives back to pass. There's a missed tackle, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. Are lining up to punt it away. Number 49, back deep to return. Number 10, punts it, and it's a good one. Number 29, takes it at the 23. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. 15 yards. He took him down First using down. his face mask, and that'll be a 15-yarder. You betcha. And that's the worst way to bring a man down. March it off, refs. It's first and 10. Ball right around midfield. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Down the middle. And he pulls it down. And down he goes. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. First and 10, ball on the 30. Georgia, going with the power eye. Hot. 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 He's hit and got away. And he's tackled. Nine-yard pickup. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 21. Number three with three wide receivers. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Throws to the middle. And it's caught. They'll bring him down. Nice heads up play by the quarterback. Yep. They're moving the chains. That's a first down. Have 
a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. Tries to juke. Brought down. A seven-yard run by the running back. They line up in the shotgun. And he's hit as he throws. Good time to bring the pressure. Yeah, I like it because even if you can't come up with a sack, just let the quarterback know you're coming and make him feel your presence. Sometimes that's just as effective as a sack. The Bulldog. Go with the eye formation. There's the play fake. Down the middle. Touchdown, Georgia. Another touchdown pass. That is number three. You know what? It takes a lot of courage to play quarterback at the college level. And with that touchdown pass, this kid's showing how courageous and confident he really is. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 18 has it at the five. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. Number 12 lines up with five wide out. He drops back. He steps up. Short toss. Complete. And he's tackled. They get a good seven yards on that one. Seven yard gain on the play. Second and three. Ball on the 25. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Steps up. Looks. Here he goes. He's going to take off. They'll bring him down. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Gator set up in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. He tosses it short. It falls incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. So it's second and 10. Ball in 34. Florida lines up with three receivers. his hands incomplete oh he could have had a big reception that time guys just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second it's third down and ten this is the fifth play of this drive from the gun drop back to pass he steps up fires deep down the right side Someone got a hand on it. 
He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. So that brings us to the end of the quarter. And at the end of three, our score, Georgia 41, Florida 21. Four wide receiver steps up, looking over the middle, and it's caught, and they make the stop. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, they had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Rolling out to the left side. He zips it out to the left. Intercepted in the end zone. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. The Florida Gators take over at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Georgia has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. He tosses it short. Incomplete pass. It's second down and 10 to go. All on their own 20. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. Back to pass. Once and all, going deep. The ball is tipped, and that one's fallen incomplete. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. Number 12, lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He's looking down the middle. His receiver has it. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. First and 10, ball on the 33 yard line. Number 12 is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Complete. That's a good nine-yard gain. Nine-yard gain on the play. Second and one coming up here. Ball on their own 42. Florida comes out in the shotgun. Throws it out there, and it's caught. Tackle. That was a well-designed play. Yep, good execution there. Nice job of getting the first down on that pass. First and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. Number 12, lines up in the shotgun. He passes it, complete. They'll bring him down. A yard on the play action that time. Number 21 with the reception. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. The defense lines up with six DBs. He's hit and got away. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Tried to run the draw, but they stopped him in the backfield. That draw play had no chance. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Third 
Florida. Lines up for the shotgun set. He steps up. He's looking. He lets it go. To the 10. And he puts it on the turf. Now the defense has it. The safety. What do you think about the play of that safety, Herbie? And this guy stepped up and made a big play right here for the defense. Nice fumble recovery. They'll get the ball here at the five-yard line. Three wide outs here. Brought down. And they continue to pound it out on the ground. Tick, tick, tick. Continue to milk that clock. Second and seven. Ball on the eight. Georgia comes to the line with three wide. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Offsides, home defense. Five-yard penalty, still Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. It's second down and two to go. Ball on their own 13. And they move the chains once again. And that's what they need. Move the chains and keep the other team from getting their hands on the football. First and ten. Ball on their own 21. And the impact tight end is hoping to get the ball in his hands. tackle and not too much there on that run not too much but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible it's second down and seven to go all on the 24 number three is in the zone and looking to make a play Taken down. That's a nice six-yard gain. Gain of six on the play. Third, Third down and a yard. Ball on their own 30. The Bulldogs line up in an eye formation. Sheds that one. Tackle. That line came off the ball. It just kept their feet moving and knocked them back. Good blocks and great running by the ball carrier also. First and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Georgia going with the power eye. in the backfield. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 35. They come out in a goal line set. They 
keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. This one's in the books, folks. Kirk, any final thoughts here? It was a good game, but I'm sure there's a little disappointment down there. Florida probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2006. Our final score, Georgia 41, Florida 21. This is Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long.